Okay, so hi everybody and welcome back. What we have here today is a new frame from Diatone Innovations and this is the Spatcha 150 frame size carbon fiber frame. The series is Spatcha. What I really like with the just saw is that they even have referenced their Facebook group here, Diatone Innovations, so make sure to check it out. And they always have this security warning here. So they always include uh, some uh, uh, red isolation spaces for their PDP, which is also always included with their frames, which is a very, very nice touch. So let's take a look at this frame. Let's unbox it if you want. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we, here we have the, the 150 size frame itself. In this case, this is the bottom plate. And here we have the top plate, with, which goes on like that. I think we will, of course, build it uh, just afterwards to see what it looks like when you build it. What we have here is the PDP. We already know that. So it's really nice that they include this PDP with all of their frames. I really appreciate this. We can have a close up of this PDP, of course. So here you can take a look at this uh, Diatone Innovations PDP. That's the version two of it. And it's a regular uh, five volts PDP. Uh, here you can even see uh, what the size of it is. And you usually simply break that out of it and then you can just mount it on your frame. In the back it also says it's the Diaton version 3.1 PDP. Okay, so let's put that down again and refocus. So what else do we have here? Here we have some standoff, offs, plastic standoffs, <coughs> some nuts the screws which will let us uh, put this frame together. Some more standoffs. Those are the plastic standoffs which are used to mount the PDP and the flight controller. <coughs> Some more screws here, plastic screws. And of course the isolation washers which we just talked about before. So before we uh, build this we will take a look at the frame here at the bottom plate so let's see what the width of this is the strength so as you can see that's a 2.5 millimeter bottom plate it looks very strong so this has a very nice feeling to it so it seems that with this nice you will really really have a hard time to to try to break this and the top plate is also nice. It's a 1.5 millimeter top plate. I really like this because often these top plates are like thin as paper, but this looks very stiff. So it really looks very stiff. <clears throat> so what else do we have here? Let's take a look at the weight of this so that you can get an impression of what the weight of this frame could be. So this bottom plate only has about 29 grams. This is really nice, it's a low weight. And then the top plate, we are at 35 grams. And then the PDP brings us to 40 grams. And then of course all the small uh, 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 parts here, we will not need all of them and of course there is the plastic but let's just put it on there we will have a real weight afterwards anyways when we build it up so all in all this brings us to 53 grams which is really nice so you can really build a very nice 150 size uh, uh, frame based on this and there is another thing which we of course always do which is to assess the quality of the carbon uh, more precisely to just check is this real carbon or not. 
as you all know real carbon is conductive and this is what we check here with the multimeter and as you can see it goes to zero which means there is a connection which means there is a connection which means there is no resistance so we are actually measuring the resistance here and that means yes this is true carbon fiber which we have here you can also actually see it so let's, let's put a close up to this and you can actually very nicely see the carbon fiber layers here so this is a nice frame also the cutouts here are of a really nice quality you can see it here so that's very precise so this is this is really nice so i really appreciate this it's a good quality frame and the same is of course also true for this top plate here so you can see this is really nice cut out uh, of course this is cut out this way to save weight and it does a really good job at it so we saw that the top and plate is of course a true carbon fiber we will take another look for the top plate <clears throat> which you can see is also true carbon fiber so this is nice what we will do next is to actually loosely build this frame together in order to see what it looks like when it's built up and of course what the weight could be of this built up frame So we have now built this frame up as you can see it's here in my hands in the palm of my hands so this is a really tiny frame it's really nice I think for this 1104 motors which are out there uh, yeah it's just a really nice thing or maybe even for the 1306 motors so this looks really nice let's have another close-up of this so as you can see this is a really nice frame good quality and really really stiff of course I didn't mount the PDP at the moment <coughs> I will do that later when I build up this frame and also mount the flight controller and so on but we can take another look at the weight here we will also put the PDP out of this here and add it to that so we are at 44 grams and then we have these small parts here which will add almost nothing so we are at below 50 frames 50 grams sorry I said frames before we are at below 50 grams for this a little frame which is really 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 nice and there is one more thing i want to do as a conclusion it is to show you the actual size of this frame compared to some other frames so for example if you take here the ZMR uh, 180 frame on this side and this is the uh, Diadone 150 frame so you can see the, the difference here this is really nice you can really nicely see the difference here of those two and of course let's also take a look at the big brother of them which is the ZMR250 which we also have here completely built up so this should give you a really nice impression of the size so this is the ZMR250 the ZMR180 and here we have this new Diadone Spatcher 150 so this is really nice so it's a really nice frame uh, I really like this frame I will of course build it up I will use some 1104 motors to do this I hope you liked this unboxing review if you liked it please leave a thumbs up please subscribe I would really appreciate it and well see you back for the build review video and of course for the maiden flight closely after it thank you very much see you next time